Hey Healthy Tribe, it's me, Christy Latre, and today I want to talk to you about the one thing you must do to get and maintain your fitness results. And no, I'm not here to talk to you about eating better or exercising more because you already know it goes without saying. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. take a deep dive and talk about your number one saboteur. You know this person all too well, so up close and personal because it's you. How many times have you gone down that winding road of the past thinking about what, how things could have been different? Man, if only I had, oh, you know what I should have done. I should have just fill in the blanks. We all do it. And how many redos have you had where you started a new fitness routine to lose weight, to gain muscle, to get a bigger butt, to lose the gut, only to find yourself right back at square one again? Being right back at square one again and again and again and again can really leave you feeling sad, resentful, angry, and hell, hungry. Yes, hungry, because let's face it, when you're sitting up thinking about the past, you just want to eat. It makes you hungry. And that's a catalyst for weight gain. When these feelings are locked inside of us, it's really hard to reach a goal. And when you reach the goal, it's really hard to keep the goal, unless you do one thing. Forgive yourself. Forgiveness is acceptance. Are you willing to accept who you are and where you are right now? Are you willing to release those feelings of being angry, resentful, um, shameful of yourself? Are you willing to let that go? Only then are you able to heal the relationship with yourself. And when you heal the relationship with yourself, you will stop chasing the goal and you'll start becoming the person who is. Guys, if you found value in this, please drop a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Until then, be fit, be fab, be you.